want to have lower heating bills this winter? Who doesn't? Well, then you might want to start sealing. A leaky house is an expensive house when it comes to heating. And in today's financial fitness segment, one homeowner shows us it doesn't matter if your house is old or practically brand new. I said, you just really would have no idea when you have your fireplace on in the winter. It's hot. You feel heat. You don't realize, like, there's just cold air coming through. Caitlin Grotlucian was stunned when she moved into this house in 2006. Stunned when winter came around and she could feel it inside her one-year-old home. So, basically, this is our master bedroom. Caitlin called on a consultant with Focus on Energy to help her make her house more energy efficient. What he found with an infrared camera were pockets of cold air everywhere. I mean, if you walk past here, well, when you did, you could just feel a draft, and that was kind of indicating something's up, and so when they did the infrared camera, to me it made perfect sense. Like, obviously there was a leak there. To fix this problem, they pulled off the trim and re-insulated, but there was an even bigger problem in the baby's room. So the cold air would come in this closet, it was freezing cold, come out into the room, meet up with the hot air from the furnace, basically leading to condensation on the windows. And it was bad condensation. It was bad condensation. And it didn't help that it was, what, negative 40 degree wind chill at the time, and it just would freeze on the window, which is horrible. Number one, to have ice inside your house, and also, you know, just especially in the baby's room. Recaulking the baseboards helped, but the biggest oh, problem so. loomed overhead. Basically, you see that big physical barrier that they built? and put in, put on the paper, none yes. of that was there. You could see straight through. Okay. And that was where our fireplace would end. And that's why cold air was cycling through the entire house. When they did the infrared, this whole area was black, and we realized it makes perfect sense. It butts right up to the attic. All that cold air was coming in and coming down to right about here, where it's just open space, there was no physical barrier, and so it was just freezing. Can you relate? Well then, listen up. That camera, the infrared camera that Caitlin talked about and the guy who operates it, they're both here. This is Doug Meek. He performed the energy audit on Caitlin's home. And tell us quickly about this camera. Well, this camera goes around and it scans uh, surfaces, um, interior, exterior surfaces, and we see temperature differences across that surface. So, so then it's obvious to you where the leaks are in someone's home. Yes, yes. How does one... Um, why should somebody get an energy audit? Um, if you're having high utility bills and you're looking to, to even cut it 30, 40, 50 percent, working through the Home Performance with Energy Star program and focus on energy can really help you achieve those goals. So. And, and it, it really does, once you find out where the problems are and fix it, how much of a difference could you end up seeing? Uh, you can have paybacks as quick as three to five years, but um, like Caitlin's house, they noticed the payback immediately. I mean, the the difference in the house immediately, the way the house acted and things like that, the comfort of the rooms, and um, it, it's it's it was pretty dramatic for for her house. So. Right, and she'll really get an idea of money savings after this winter because they just had it done following last winter, so they'll really be able to see a difference this winter. But we want to help you be able to help your house be more energy efficient and we talked about getting a home energy audit which can cost between three to five hundred dollars depending on where you live size of the house things like that all plays a factor sure and like you said could you could get that money back within a few years and depending on your utility companies there are incentives through focus on energy um, for like attic insulation wall insulation making your house tighter so there are some uh, direct incentives after you have the work done, too. So Will you get money back? Sure. Okay. Foam board insulation. You recommend that for who? Anybody who has, like, a story and a half house, like Caitlin's house, has um, a story and a half where they have second floor walls connected to attic spaces. And actually, in her house, you can actually see between the floors all the way across the between the first floor ceiling and the second floor floor, which... It's like keeping three to four windows open all year round so that that heat that you just created, you know, with your furnace is now escaping easily to the outside. So, 
You also talk about, you suggest that people insulate all areas of the home. And some other areas that she did were in her um, closet where there was an access to the attic and also in her basement. Are those typical for most homes where you would want to do some ceiling? Yeah, especially um, both those areas that the attic catches. Um, it's almost 99% of the houses. Those are lack insulation and they're, they're a leaky spot. And the area between the foundation wall and the, the first floor, that's where you have all your electrical penetrations, your, uh, your plumbing and things like that, and nobody really seals up those areas. So sealing all those penetrations, closing those holes, shutting the windows, that's, that's really a good energy-efficient improvement to make. How do programmable thermostats help? They allow you to, to turn down the heat or up in the, in the summertime, down in the wintertime, uh, from like 68 degrees where you normally feel comfortable down to 64 degrees when nobody's home. And then 30 minutes before you get home, you can have it set again to go back to the, the temperature that you really want it to be at. So, so they do save. I mean, you're not keeping it at 68 degrees 24 hours a day. You're able to, to Adjust shift. it throughout the day. Yep. Fluorescent lights, we hear a lot about that. Does it really make a difference? They, they make a huge difference. They use about a, a quarter of the, the energy that a normal incandescent, you know, Thomas Edison light bulb does. And they save, if you use it three hours a day, it'll save you about $7 per year per bulb. So. And finally, this is easy. If you're going to change out your appliances, get one that is an Energy Star appliance. Yeah, Energy Star appliances really do. I mean, um, there's a, a 22 cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator at a home show two weeks ago, and the energy usage for that was $47 per year. Now, most refrigerators is going to be about $120 per year, so significant, you know, one-third savings. So. All right, just a few changes that you can make to make your house more energy efficient. If you want to learn more about getting Doug over to your house with his infrared camera, or if you want to learn more about Focus on Energy and see some more of these tips, go to fox11online.com and click on Good Day Wisconsin.